hello everybody. This is Katie Kraus, the program manager for the Ridges Sanctuary. And today I'm joined here with two of our volunteers. Hi, I'm Jane Whitney. <laughs> I'm a volunteer here at the Ridges Sanctuary. I'm Julie Knox, also a volunteer here at the Ridges Sanctuary. And we also volunteer for the Frog Monitoring Program. So what are we, what are we out here doing today? Well, tonight we're out listening to the spring peepers. Here we're at the uh, Ridges Beach here on the shores of Lake Michigan. We have a swale, which is a well-defined body of water right over here. And that's where the spring peepers are tonight. And you should be able to hear them um, above the bird calls. We got a lot of birds here too. But what's fun about frogs in general is that while there are 6,000 plus species in the world, Wisconsin only has 12, and Door County has six species of frogs and one species of toad. So you know what? As a family, you can get to know these frogs. You can get to know their sounds, so you don't even have to see them, and you'll know which ones are around. So tonight it's spring peepers time. Well, early in the season, wood frogs. They sound like clowns chuckling or ducks. Um, then spring peepers come right along and um, they're pretty distinctive. Toads are coming out Toads, right around yep. this time of year, about the same time as the leopard frogs. And those leopard frogs kind of sound like the that the toys, the frog toys, right? Where you take the stick and you rub rub it on the back of they, the. They do, of but the one wooden. in some ways that's almost yes. <laughs> um, one of the things there are two ways they describe the leopard frog. One is. Oh yes, the snore. snoring man. The snoring man, <laughs> and it, once you hear it, you'll absolutely think, "Oh my gosh, I know what that is." Um, the other way is described as if you had a big full balloon and rubbed your fingers up it. it you know that it's that yeah. same sound. Oh. Absolutely, that, that's what I mean. Frogs are fun. We only have a few to learn. The wood frogs chuckle and quack. The peepers peep. Um, the leopard frogs snore. The uh, toad trills, a very long trill, about 30 seconds off, and it just goes. Yeah. <laughs> Um, green frogs, which come after these, uh, well, we have the tree frogs in between. They're kind of a late spring. We talked about the early spring, wood frogs, peepers, and leopard, um, and toad. Then mid, uh, late spring is the, the two tree frogs we have. By and large, we have the gray tree frog is more common than Cope's tree frog. They're kind of a raspy sound, um, coarse compared to the peeper. Um, and they frequently seem to be higher in the trees. Um, and and they, they don't sing as long, they have sort of a, I, I don't know, I can't even describe it. Then the green frog comes along here and, and he likes the warmer water and um, more permanent wetlands. Um, and they are described as a plucked banjo. <laughs> Not a bullfrog. Bullfrog's different altogether. But, mm -hmm. So those are the ones we have here in Door County, plus the toad. Oh, I think the most interesting one is are the, the uh, wood frogs and the, the peepers and tree frogs that actually freeze solid during the, during the winter. Crazy. That's crazy. Yeah. They it's, freeze solid. They freeze solid. They freeze so solid that um, actually their heart stops. So um, the cells, all that water's left their cells. They produce an antifreeze that allows their cells not to burst. And they simply shut down their body functions. And then in the spring, the, when it thaws, that wood frog wakes up. It takes a couple days to complete coming. But, Several hours it'll be come to and start to thaw, but it takes a couple days. And they can freeze and thaw and freeze and thaw several times until they start to eat. Once yeah. they start to eat, then it's permanent. That right, then they are crazy. permanently awake. And that's those are the tree frog style. Um, the water frogs that we think of, they're, they're true, true frogs, the leopard. leopard and the green frog, they do something different. They um, 
they go to the bottom of a pond and they dig a very shallow pit. Um, they don't cover themselves necessarily because remember frogs have to have some um, moisture, some uh, gas exchange through their skin. So they, they're not encasing themselves like a turtle will. They're in a little shallow pit. Their metabolism slows way, way down. So they're still alive as opposed to the wood frog, which seems to have died. Um, <laughs> And so they just spend the winter that way. If they get silted in or if they find that they um, need a little more oxygen, they might move slightly. Or if they're disturbed. If they're disturbed. So you can sometimes see them just sort of floating across the bottom of a pond, but they're not really that active because they don't want to eat. Um, but they, will, they need to keep the silt off their skin. Mm. So that's what those do. And the toad, Julie, you've come across a toad. Toads. So dig their way down under the ground down so they stay right below the or right above the frost line uh, using their hind feet for shovels they just back their way down into the soil uh, sometimes if you're digging in the garden real early in the spring you will accidentally dig up a very stiff and slow toad Wow mm -hmm. so three different techniques to get through our winters um, they have to do it they're hardy creatures um, when they wake or thaw or come to or leave their slow metabolism, they generally are ready to do one thing, and that's mate. <laughs> that is what the singing is about. What you might not realize is who's singing. It's only the males. Just think if they both sang. <laughs> so it's only the males that are singing. Um, their sole purpose is to attract a mate. It, they're not so much territorial. They're m looking for a mate and they'll be selected. Um, they get cranky with each other. If there's too many males around or too close, they might have a slightly different... Um, the spring they peeper... They kind of trill a little bit. Yeah. The spring peeper not just peeps, but will also trill. And frequently, from what I, I have read, it's if another male is just too close. Oh. And that trilling is just sort of a... Um, a back off. Wow. And if you guys can hear us while uh, while we're standing here right now, the, the peepers decided to join us. They decided they weren't afraid of us talking anymore. So you might hear those in the background. And, and they're just the males. And if you can, listen for the trill. 